to another Crafty Decor Adventure. Can you all tell that I'm in the mood for romance? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I decorated my living room and especially this Christmas tree for Valentine's Day. This is the first ever Valentine's Day Christmas tree that I have ever done and I've been seeing so much inspiration on everybody's Instagrams and Facebooks of how you guys are decorating your Christmas tree for Valentine's Day. Um, so if you guys want to be inspired to do that or just maybe bring a little bit of romance into your home, definitely check out this video. Now, hey, listen, if you guys want to subscribe to this YouTube channel it's totally free you can join me I do a lot of DIY budget friendly crafts um, just subscribe and then click the bell and hit all and that will update you every time I post a new video and I post several DIY videos a week on YouTube as well as several a day over on Facebook and hey this is a lived in little home you guys can hear my puppy dog Benji Bear which he's gonna be dolled up with a cute little red and white scarf I'm gonna share with you guys I know you guys love to see Benji Bear um, my little puppy dog so anyway you guys go ahead and grab your favorite roses your romantic ribbons and let's get to decorating okay so here is the big reveal on this year's valentine's day mantle and valentine's day christmas tree so this is the first time i have ever created a valentine's day christmas tree i did kind of a mini tree last year using like an old thrift store tree that was a ficus tree that i painted pink and there's benji bear looking on he was definitely a big help for these diys and creating this tree so here's my first diy on this one I want to share with you all how to take one of these long Dollar Tree garlands, pull it apart, and then this is such a super easy DIY. And I actually saw someone in my craft group, I have an Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page, and they used a Dollar Tree garland to um, hang some of these hearts from their mantle. So I'm sorry, I can't remember who posted this, but shout out and props to you guys who are posting so many amazing things over there but they hung it, um, the hearts by their string. So I wanted to share with you guys this idea and um, comment down below if you guys know who posted this and I would love to give you guys credit for this, um, but just hot glue some pretty ribbon to these hearts and you guys can drop it down from a mantle. You could hang it from curtains. You guys can hang it from cabinets, um, but this is such a fun little idea. I am going to use it on my mantle similar to whoever posted this idea in my group page and I didn't end up having enough ribbon that was similar from Dollar Tree um, in the Valentine's Day ribbon so I ended up just using some gingham and then some hearts and you guys can see I'm also using my little handled scissors here because I really poured the hot glue on on this one <laughs> so that's a little trick from me to you, you guys and also use a spatula to press your glue down as well um, but just get creative and go for it. But these, this is a great idea. I love these hanging signs that they have. They usually have them for every season. I break these apart all the time. You guys can also hot glue pipe cleaners onto the back of them and attach them into garlands as well. to hang it these beautiful little Dollar Tree hanging hearts I simply took a piece of tape and I scotch taped them to the top of my mantle and this is a faux mantle that I found at Walmart now the greener that you see kind of overhanging the mantle is just my Christmas tree garland I didn't even take that down this year and then I found these beautiful 
Red Rose Reese. They are at Walmart for $14, which I thought was such a steal. If you all look up close to these, they're the most beautiful wooden hand done little rosettes. And I definitely could not have created that for $14. So I think it's so beautiful. I bought two of them and then just attached them actually to my greenery, my big piece of greenery garland. I added some bows and then some little Dollar Tree hanging hearts, which you guys saw in that DIY, and then just some little Dollar Tree picks in there. So these are really easy to create if you guys want to keep that greenery up left over from Christmas. I want to share with you all how to make an easy bow using your easy bow maker and I went pretty wild with my bow so the easy bow maker you all can find at Michael's craft store you can buy it on deco exchange it's super inexpensive there it'll be shipped right to your house and you can make a super easy bow I will also link a bow video for you guys where you don't even have to have a bow maker I love to cheat and use my easy bow maker when I'm making these huge garland bows because then I don't have to use my hands. I do have neuropathy in my hands, so it's nice to give my little hands a break. Okay, I'm making a seven inch bow starting out with, and I did get this Valentine's ribbon at Hobby Lobby. I love to wait towards the end of the season, go in and buy a bunch of holiday ribbon, and then put some back in my craft stash because it's all 50 to 60% off right now. I believe it's probably 50% off. I can't remember. I kind of blacked out, you guys, and just bought a bunch of holiday ribbon, um, but I do wait until it's a, a pretty good deep discount. Now you guys can see I'm dovetailing my ends and again this is about a seven inch loop on either side. The Easy Bow Maker does have its measurements out for you and I'm kind of going Punky Brewster on you guys which is a show from like the 80s 90s where she used tons of patterns. So I'm just using tons of patterns on this bow. Lots of Valentine's love for you and I'm starting to make my um, bow a little bit smaller as I go down. So this is about a six inch loop loop and I'm starting out with my larger ribbon and then going into my smaller ribbon and then now you can see I'm kind of thinking on which one I want to do next and so I'm starting out and I'm going red and then pink and then white and then I chose to do this black and white check with the hearts and then I ended up using some pink and then some more white so just have fun with it get creative um, make a pretty bow to pop into your garland um, Dollar Tree was definitely by this point in time out of any of their Valentine's ribbon and to be honest with you guys I really struggled this season to find a lot of Valentine Day ribbon that's why I ended up popping into Hobby Lobby and just grabbing some and totally cheating um, so but have fun with it get creative make some pretty bows to go into your garland Now, once I was finished, here is what my bow looks like. I always go ahead and fluff my bow and then tie my bow off in the center with a pipe cleaner. So I've shared so many different bow ideas with you all. And you can go back to my YouTube channel and check out so many different bows, but these bows I used on the top of my Christmas tree topper and then I used a couple of them on those beautiful topiaries just tied them on and it really fills things out and makes things feel festive and honestly bows really aren't that expensive to do especially if you get your ribbon on clearance after Christmas here I think is how to take a pack of those Dollar Tree felt hearts I really love these they look like little doilies and I'm just going to take some of this Dollar Tree ribbon and I'm going to string the ribbon on the hearts so to make 
like the little ribbon banner, you're going to poke the ribbon up through the um, little loop on the heart and then poke it down through. And that should get it to go perfectly on there where you can slide your hearts on to your little banner. And I'm just using this cute little Valentine's Day ribbon from Dollar Tree. These were so fun and easy to make. And you guys could also probably do this with paper doilies. But again, I do love these little felt um, goodies. I can't remember. You guys comment down below um, by leaving me a heart and let me know, did Dollar Tree have these last year? I really cannot remember sometimes from year to year. I'll see something and think, wow, this is new, only to find out that maybe it wasn't as new as I thought, or I'll find new things and just be completely blown away. The other little tip I have for you on stringing these hearts is to take a little pipe cleaner or a, like a little safety pin and wrap it around the end of your ribbon and that will help you push it through those little felt heart um, little doodly dads at the top a little bit easier so make a beautiful little heart banner I think these are so cute and I was going for all neutrals like in my living room dining room and then it just was too neutral and so I had to redecorate again um, you guys I just love decorating and sharing with you guys so many ideas and it may change tomorrow trust me the next thing I decided to add was some of the little Dollar Tree stick so they just come in like a 12 to 20 pack. I'm not totally for sure, but this is like a no glue project, which I love. So you can... And here is how I use these adorable little felt hanging hearts. I simply scotch taped them to the back of this beautiful mirror that I found half off at Hobby Lobby. And then I added a little Target dollar spot wreath underneath that and then a little $1 heart. Now here's Benji Bear again. You guys are gonna see him sprinkled throughout this video. He loves when I craft and decorate. He loves to bring me his toys and play tug of war. You guys can see that he's having so much fun trying to get my attention. He'll bring me his little toy and then play tug of war for a bit and then take a nap or bark at things. Now here's another fun idea for decorating for Valentine's Day. Grab a cute little Valentine's Day mug and make some sweet coffee. I love my Nespresso or, you know, pretty much any cup of coffee and then grab some Dollar Tree pair cards, put them by your coffee maker in the morning and then read one every single morning. It's how I start my day. I think it's just a really wonderful way to bless your day and to have just a positive outlook on the day. And I do share my Dollar Tree pair cards with you guys every single morning on my Instagram stories. And I also try to share them over on my Facebook story. Now this no mug came from TJ Maxx and the majority of my mugs do come from TJ Maxx, Target or Dollar Tree or actually the thrift store. Another fun idea for decorating for Valentine's Day is to take a little tray and just add some Valentine's Day goodies. So I added this sweet little candle, a $1 love mailbox, some random little um, roses and then some little faux muffins and then just sprinkled some little red glittery hearts around that. The tray I did find at the thrift store so you guys can easily create a fun little romantic vignette on a total budget and it just makes things feel festive and lighting that candle feels so so romantic and lovely and just a nice cozy glow for winter. share with you guys how to make a Mackenzie Child inspired um, Valentine's heart. So I'm starting out with a wooden Valentine's Day heart or it's really just a wooden heart from, uh, from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to chalk paint it white with my Waverly white chalk paint. So really you guys could use any white paint but it's good to go ahead and lay down a base of white paint to be um, doing this kind of DIY. So you're going to want to lay down your base of white paint and then let that dry. And then once that was dry, I'm just gonna take this paint stick, you can use a ruler, anything that's gonna draw a straight line, and I'm gonna use a Sharpie marker, and I'm gonna begin to draw lines to make the checkerboard pattern. So Mackenzie Child's inspired um, art or checkerboard. This is the royal check or the courtly check. Um, 
this is the quarterly check, I believe is what it's called. And so you're just going to draw lines um, one way, and then you're going to draw lines the opposite direction. And so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to mark out where I want to begin to paint my black and white checks. So I love Mackenzie Child's patterns. I love it because it's very forgiving. And so once I had all my checks drawn you can mark your checks with an x where you paint your black or you can just go ahead and start painting your black so i'm going to go every other one with the black and white black and white i also have out some gold and white because i'm going to drag a little bit of gold and white into my paintbrush so you can go on youtube also and find the artists the artisans that do their hand painted um dinnerware and they always drag a little bit of white and gold into their black and white check and that kind of offsets it and makes it a little bit less um, like it's like a race car type thing but so you're just going to drag that white and gold into there and continue to do that and go along i only did one coat of this sometimes i do two but for this one i only did one and you can seal it with some mod podge or you could even seal it um, with some elmer's Blue, that would work too. So I used my Mackenzie Child's hand painted $1 Dollar Tree heart and I hung it on top of one of the pink Dollar Tree felt um, ornament goodies and then hung a red heart over that. And now you can see I'm just adding in some pretty little florals into my Christmas tree. And then I even created some hearts out of styrofoam paper plates. This green heart was a paper plate that I just cut and painted. My daughter and I did this project one day um, during one of our snow days. And really you guys can just do so many things on a total budget for Valentine's Day. Tree DIY. I want to share with you all how you can take my little Dollar Tree heart signs and paint it pink and kind of zhuzh it up and customize it to your decor. The pink looks pretty bright on camera, but it really wasn't quite as bright um, as it showed on this video. Um, but it was, you know, pretty sugary pink. So you could always tone that down with a little bit of white. I kind of noticed that after um, once I was done, I was like, ooh, there is some pink and it's popping. But this is just Apple Barrow. I want to say it's like a pink princess craft paint. And it's from Walmart. I think it's about 50 cents, but it's perfect for Valentine's Day. If you're a shabby chic girl, you want to do some romantic decor again. It would also be fun to kind of do this in white and make it a rustic heart. Um, but don't be afraid of those Dollar Tree hearts. And if you have kiddos at home right now, if it's snowing where you're at, you have some snow days or whatnot, you might want to gather up some of the wooden signs from Dollar Tree that they can have fun painting. I remember I would grab things for my kiddos, you know, in the snow season for them to be able to craft with. Okay, so now I'm just going to add some yarn to this. And Dollar Tree is carrying yarn. So this is some white yarn from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to wrap it around the little slats here. I thought the slats were cute, but I kind of wanted to give it some dimension. And again, like I said, I'm trying to kind of do some really cozy decor this year. I feel like cozy and peace is all I want this year and so I just think that adding this yarn it gives it a really like soft homey cozy feel and so I'm also going to add some pink yarn to it to kind of like make it feel like a little bit of a crisscross applesauce type thing happening <laughs> Yeah. Um, and so I'm just winding that around my little heart and hot gluing it. Be careful when you're hot gluing with yarn, though. It's easy to burn the tips of your fingers. Now, I do have neuropathy in my fingers, so I, I really don't feel the, t the very tips of my fingers anymore. Plus all the crafting that I did for so many years. Um, 
So anyway, I'm just going to wrap this around the base of the heart and then call that good. And then I was racking my brain. I was like, oh, I just felt like it needed something else, either like a cute picture. Now I have this sign. This is a love sign from the Dollar Tree. We're going to use it in a different project, but I thought this would be perfect to add to the front of this. The galvanized letters fit perfectly on here, of course, because they fit on the other sign, which was about the same size. And I'm just adding hot glue to the exact spot. Now, how sweet did this darling little love sign come out? And it ended up being the centerpiece of my Valentine's Day Christmas tree. The majority of the goodies on my tree are from the Dollar Tree. So just having fun with it and going for it, I encourage you guys to try this out. Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how to make a super adorable little gnome for the holidays. Now, this is going to be a transitional Christmas to Valentine's Day gnome. Again, it's about mid-December when I'm doing this craft and my mind is already twirling thinking about all the cute little Valentine's Day crafts, but I want to make them somewhat Christmassy to where they could kind of float in between, which I think is the best part about doing these. Okay, so this gnome cutout is from the Dollar Tree. It's painted all the way white. It was just like a unfinished wood I let that dry and now I just drew some little hearts on it and then using a finer detail brush I'm painting in the pink hearts and then making a pink and red border on my cute little gnome hat now this is a girl gnome or maybe not maybe it's a boy with long hair and braids but I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be a girl this is gonna be a girl in my world um, and then I'm just taking again that finer detail, detail brush and I'm detailing in some of these hearts you guys can really get creative with these gnomes you can make them any holiday that you love any color that you love I'm just sharing my idea with what you guys might want to do thinking about a little bit of Christmas into Valentine's Day now I'm going to paint her little bows pink and red as well to kind of match with the hat and then I wasn't for sure what kind of outfit I wanted to do um, I did want to give her a cute little smile and a pink little nose then I decided on pink shoes and then a pink body and then I can go back in and accent her shoes with some reds or some whatnot and then of course you know we have to accent those shoes she's got to have some like little Dorothy shoes I need to probably add in even some red glitter now that I'm thinking about it wouldn't that be fabulous we're gonna give her some brown braids I do have brown hair and maybe she's a gnome like me <laughs> she's gnome for the holidays um, and again you guys can pop this pretty much anywhere I'll probably hold her back in my studio and then put her out for Christmas or she'd be cute underneath the Christmas tree honestly because hey this is Olivia's romantic home might as well have a cute little romantic gnome and again just get creative with it do whatever you guys love Now for detail, I added in some super adorable little red buttons and bam, we have this fabulous little gnome on a total budget. She was $1 at the Dollar Tree plus these little buttons and the buttons I find at my Dollar Tree in the checkout aisle and they have tons of colors, sizes, and here's how I used my adorable little $1 Dollar Tree Valentine's Day gnome. She's not perfect, but I feel like things are more fun, honestly, and have more character when they're a little bit perfectly imperfect. So if you guys are working on a craft and you're not quite satisfied with one of um, your creations, keep going and give yourself some grace. But I think this turned out absolutely adorable for only a dollar. For this next DIY, I want to share with you all how you can repurpose and reuse pretty much any piece of cardboard. I chose this Pop-Tart box from some Pop-Tarts that I bought for my kiddos. And then I'm going to take the base of a candle and make little rounds. So what I want to do is make some fun little rosettes. Now you're going to take a piece of scrap fabric. This is some burlap fabric that I had left over from some other craft that I had been making. And I'm just taking a dab and you want to make a big dab in the center and then just start winding the a piece of scrap fabric or burlap around um, that first little loop so you basically just take it and wrap it around the loop and this burlap was pretty frayed so the center of it looks kind of bungee and crazy but you can always trim that down and hey you can use pretty much any piece of fabric from an old bed sheet to an old curtain just pretty much anything that you guys have on hand um, and I did get this idea using the piece of cardboard from my sweet friend over our green acres she has a YouTube channel 
to just the most amazing little crafts. I've been um, really enjoying watching some of her DIYs recently. She popped up on my YouTube channel and I'm going to tell you guys are going to have to go over and visit with her and check out her channel. Subscribe. She's a cute little um, just country mama that loves to craft and I just love watching. So I added this rosette to my little darling deer and this is actually one that I made with some red Christmas ribbon. It's so fun on a budget. The other day I shared with you guys how to take some of these Dollar Tree sparkling foam hearts, which honestly, they're absolutely adorable in their pink and red form. I'm using them in some other areas as is, but for my dining room, I did wanna go ahead and just paint them in this neutral white. And I did chalk paint them with my Waverly White chalk paint. You can pick that up at Walmart. Now I used two coats of paint and it did take overnight to dry. So this is like day two on this project. Um, if you guys wanna see the last video, I shared with you guys a big um, DIY in my living room. So now I'm just taking some ribbon and I'm going to hot glue some ribbon back into place on the back of these adorable little hearts. So here's how my little white heart um, it turned out and I just popped it onto my Valentine's Day Christmas tree. I have a couple sprinkled in and around this tree and you can tell it's just blooming with love and goodness and I just love mixing patterns and joy and love and so I took some pink Dollar Tree felt hearts, some little white hearts, some green styrofoam hearts that I made out of plates, some of the $1 Dollar Tree signs and some bows and then Dollar Tree even had some pink ornaments. I actually found these around Christmas and they were the jumbo ornaments. I was so shocked to find them. So I grabbed a couple of those and then I even have like some placemats mixed in to my dollar or my little Valentine's Day tree. So anyway, here's another fun little idea. My daughter had um, used these little mini Christmas trees for her bedroom. She was done with them. So she brought them to me and I was like, hey, I can use them for my Valentine's Day decor. So I set them next to each other on a little white, pretty kind of scrolly mirror. I added some $1, just little inexpensive scatter hearts in and around the trees and then I added that little Dollar Tree ooh la la sign and then a cute little heart dish with another little cardboard heart and then there I have an easy Valentine's Day centerpiece now it's not an opulent blooming roses centerpiece but for now I feel like it is a cozy winter transitional decor piece and here is another overview of how I did the bows layered on my little topiary again these topiaries were from Hobby Lobby last season they were rather pricey but I did get mine on 50% off and then I know that they even went down to 90% off and they're really specifically for Easter so what I do is I just cover up the kind of Eastery like um, yellow parts of the topiary with Valentine's Day bows and goodies until it comes time for Easter and then I'll redecorate it for Easter and again here are those beautiful red hearts that I found at Walmart again they were only $14 I was so shocked they're so beautifully handmade I really appreciate all the time and effort that was put into making those and then here are the beautiful little hanging hearts I added and I handmade the little fluffy bows another fun idea is to take some little Dollar Tree little pink goodies and just pick them in to some of your evergreen you guys can see back behind my mantle decor it's all evergreen left over from Christmas and then I just added some little Dollar Tree scatter hearts and these little um you know picks of pink they're like little gumballs to me honestly but I think they're perfect for Valentine's Day so look at what you guys have in your craft stash and mix together your pinks reds I mix in some black and white and even I think lime green looks really pretty with these colors as well
how that pillow turned out. I used it all through Christmas in my entryway table. Now I'm going to share with you guys how you can repurpose it and make it into a Valentine's Day decor idea. So from the Dollar Tree, just take one of their little fabric flags. And this one says, follow your heart, which I absolutely love. But they carry these pretty much every season. I think this one was from last year. Um, but they should have something similar or some kind of little fabric, you know, embellishment that you guys can use. Or you guys can make your own embellishment. Or you can use some of the little heart felts. Just pretty much anything that you want to do to create a little Valentine's Day pillow. I know pillows can be really pricey. And I did get a couple of new ones from TJ Maxx for this season. Um, but... I think that you can also DIY some and make that work as well. Um, and it's just fun to have little pillows to set around. It just makes your decor feel really cozy, especially in these winter months. So here is how my little DIY pillow turned out. And I think what I love the most about this is it says, follow your heart. And I really feel like this season is going to be a season of peace and joy. And I'm going to definitely be following my heart. So here it is mixed in with my little French country chair, my cute little gnome, and some more heart pillows back behind it. And it's a little bit of a busy space, but so here is how my little corner turned out with the cute little pillows and then my mantle another fun idea is just to create a beautiful little kind of winter white floral so for this i used my little black and white check um these are actually canisters for your kitchen and then i popped some roses in and then added some pretty little red hearts now here's benchy bear he's dolled up with his little scarf on and i have his little donut this is one of his new toys i got for him for valentine's day so he's really distracted by his scarf i actually had to take it off <laughs> to share with you guys how he loves playing with this little donut and you might even hear some some scratching in the background he's chewing on one of his bones but again here is an overview of my beautiful valentine's day christmas tree i feel like no matter where you're at you don't even have to have like the perfect romantic you know textbook valentine in your life to celebrate valentine's day um, i think celebrating love is more of what Valentine's Day, in my opinion, is about. And that can be love for your kiddos. It can be love for your spouse. It can be love for just your family members, your friends, your pet. Just celebrating love is something I feel like is also a gift from God, is a blessing. And so to pass that on to others, I just hope I can be a joy and love and light in your life and inspire you guys to create some beautiful little winter decor. And here's Benji Bear again. Oh my goodness, he is such a funny little sneaker. Okay guys, Benji Bear just wanted to pop on here and say hello. He's got his sweet little romantic scarf. He's looking awfully dapper and a lot of you guys have seen him just kind of grow up on camera. So look at how big he's gotten. Um, if you guys remember when he was a little puppy dog, I could hold him in my intros and he would just cuddle all and all up. But he's gotten to be such a big boy. He is a mixed terrier um, and so he's like a Jack Russell. Okay, let me remember Jack Russell and then some other kind of terrier mix, but isn't he a handsome guy? He just wanted to pop on and say hi to everybody. Say hi, Benji Bear. I hope everybody is having a gorgeous blessed day. And he got his new little bark box, some new fun toys in, which he just absolutely loves. And then Tinky is scooting around outside. She is on the prowl. She's been catching a lot of mice lately. So anyway, there you guys have Sir Benji Bear. <laughs> so thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and I'm a DIY crafty mama. I love to share with you a ton of DIY projects, usually budget friendly using thrift store and Dollar Tree goodies, some Walmart and Hobby Lobby thrown in there. And I just truly believe that you can make your home a beautiful, warm, cozy, inviting space without breaking the bank. So if you guys love that, definitely consider joining me. If you want to subscribe to this YouTube channel, it's totally free. You can click that bell and hit all. It will update you every time I post a new video and I post several DIY videos a week on YouTube as well as several a day over on Facebook. So you guys pop over to my Olivia's Romantic on Facebook page, follow me over there, and I'll keep you guys totally inspired to crafting and decorating on a budget. I know for me, crafting and decorating is so good for my heart and soul, so I hope to spread that joy and goodness to you all. And no matter where you guys are at, I just want to encourage you guys to keep up the good work crafting and decorating and really in life in general. I know the last couple of years maybe have been hard for everybody, um, but just continue to look forward 
forward to the future with joy. Every time we wake up and open our eyes is a new day. It's God's new blessing. So I hope to share that love and joy with you guys. And hey, remember, you guys have a voice in this world. If you're on this video, you're on a social media account. So if you comment down below or comment on anybody's post, try to leave hearts and emojis and happy things that are just going to light up everybody's world with positivity. So spread that positivity. When you put it out there, hopefully it will come back. And if not, you just keep on moving. So I love y'all to the moon and back. I cannot wait for our next video and I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight, like with the biggest, warmest, most cozy, amazing hug. Thank you guys. It is truly a blessing and an honor to have everybody here. I could not ask for anything more. And so I continue to spread my love and joy and positivity with you guys. And I hope that you guys do that as well. Now we're going to pop over here to Benji Bear. He seems to see something at the window. So let me share with you guys what he's got going on. I love y'all. And until our next video, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. We'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.